slow sips, Hafton. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gives me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Faravid asked for my silence. But Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Magnus. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> well, perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bionton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. <sighs> I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. Yeah! 
There's the stench of rot in the air. Stop! save them, but at least it might ease their suffering. Hmm. A list of names, ages, all killed by a plague. The withering. Stop! There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me. Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The withering is taking them, but I do not wish to abandon them. The withering? A disease that often goes unnoticed until it is too late. The whole village had it. It destroys the mind and heightens aggression in an individual. And ultimately, the poor soul is rendered catatonic. Leave here, child. Your family will soon go, and this village has nothing for you. But, Papa... Mama! They will find peace in death. Live for them. They would want that. I... I... <laughs> You're right. I cannot hold on any longer to what is already lost. I will go. Here. A key, if you want to check on the sick yourself. Face them again. This town leaves behind a bitter legacy. Such is the way of this world. This illness rots the mind of the afflicted. <laughs> Stretch your wings, Sunan. in drowning this golden drink. <laughs> Still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? He gave your goblet little more than a second glance. He rants and broods in his high tower. Was Halfton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be.
The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? <laughs> Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. Hoops. Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk! Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk! The gods love a fool! The mead gave you luck, that's all. <laughs> I offered you enough mead to best me. No excuses. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yarl? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. The I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with ale. I wish you all tide happened every month. The daily slog kills. No! <laughs> Dear, careful with that beast! Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart.
Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishir, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishir is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishir will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <gasps> I wish your tide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Ugh. <laughs> Ah, lessings for the season! You go are you go for your silver? Where are these toy goats, child? I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I made them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure about being the finest, but I do love them, every one. <laughs> if you have one in the likeness of Tangrishnir, I will take it. What about my goat? Where are you going? during Yule. I hope wherever you are, there are plenty of woolly fluffy goats to keep you warm. Sister? Uh, this is your sister. We made the goats together, but the cold took her last winter. I promised her I would continue selling our goats. 
She said they can bring warmth into the hearts of others. Here, it's yours. I hope it will keep you warm on your travels. Goodbye, nice stranger. Rest, spirit. Your legacy lives on with your sister. Survey the area, Sunan. I'll cost you more than bread. Things you have. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't. But he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. Come, raise a cup! Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes. We do enjoy the comforts we have here, but I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. This forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes, 
Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed and have a care.
Show me what lies ahead. Aid me, be my eyes. Moira is not here. <laughs> this letter came from Weaker. She must have gone there. I should go to Weaker, find Moira. Yo! It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Show me. What is this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Come on out of there, you heathen lover. Must be blocked from the other side. Away from my house, you ruffians. Oh, goodness! You're not... not one of them! Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convince- Lead on then. <laughs> Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men. Feeder of ravens, stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus, e ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Now, leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go.
We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Hail, warrior. You keep this estate. I do. I'm Gottfried Ferro, celebrated Drenger of the great heathen army, trusted Golden Helm of Ragnar Lothbrok. I intend a clean and honorable battle as my days grow old and rotten. I wish to keep myself dignified in my death rattle. Your upkeep is impressive. My war garments are unblemished, well-groomed and pristine. Ragnar taught me self-respect when we summered here. A clean conscience, unblemished oaths, and immaculate loyalty are of higher value than any well-dusted piece of armor. A resonant thought. Now, will you oblige me? An honorable and clean battle is all I ask for now. May Odin visit us in this dance. Let us fight. Prepare your garb for a last drenching of raven wine. Battle iron. Prime condition. You're mine. Immaculate strike. Just precision. Weapons are dulled and impure. I shall only use the sharp and ace. Only the purest. Then take this soul. Uh, my wounds bleed clean. Thank you for this last song of well-wrought iron and immaculate blows. Go to your shining flawless victory. Farewell, honorable Drenger.
Come here! like a trap. <coughs> Need to be careful here. 